Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to crop images using the croppy images. So uh, that is the croppy, uh, you can say that is the JS file and provided uh, freely you can say you, you can use it. So uh, before going to much details, just uh, take an example of uh, croppy images, uh, croppy tools you can say. So we can use uh, cropped images. So ASP.NET Core Web View Model Controller and select uh, you can say uh, cropped image okay so the name is the cropped image 6.0 and ASP.NET Core Web App View Model Controller. So uh, in this video tutorial just I am going to add a croppy as well as image sharp 6 labor image sharp tool or you can say that NuGet package uh, to crop the images. So uh, first of all solution explorer is uh, looking like a doc and now uh, add a new NuGet package manage, uh, manage new, uh, NuGet package and the browse and the package name is, is six labor dot image sharp and there is a six labor image sharp uh, control lattice table is 2.1.3 so just download it first and after that you can say uh, just download it I think it's close okay so six labor dot image sharp is uh, downloaded very well now after that just open your uh, that is the shared folder layout.cshtml file and where you can just add a croppy uh, c sharp uh, file uh, to crop the images okay so first of all add a css uh, now so right here just after the bootstrap you can just add the cdn uh, js.cloudpair player.com ajax lips croppy uh, 2.6.5 croppy dot mean dot css file and just before your site dot css so save this now after that you can just uh, uh, site dot js file just before that uh, site dot js you can just add uh, the croppy js file right after the bootstrap bundle so right here https cdnjs.cloudflare.com uh, slash ajax lips croppy 2.6.5 croppy.mean.js and the script or you can download the latest version also of the croppy 2.6 and where we have uh, lots of uh, options are there uh, so uh, just i'm going to add some uh, controller action method in the controller section so just first of all open the controller that is the home controller file and you can add a i web host environment right here so i oops i web host environment and web host environment and just right here uh, just copy or you can say that generate a constructor Okay, so here we have a web host environment. Okay, now after that you can just add a new method that is saved crop the file just after that. So you can just write here and like that. So here we have an uh, save crop the image string file name and the iPhone file that is the blob. Okay, so in the image here we have a image dot load method. Uh, by using the blob uh, you can use uh, in the croppy you can use just after the cropped file uh, the file name will be in the form of file name or the blob so you can use file name um, or the blob uh, so uh, blob dot open read stream with the image image you can say that the six labor dot uh, image sharp control so by using the six labor so using static system dot mine dot it's not a uh, that, that type of namespace just use six label dot image char after doing that you can say that uh, mutate also it's not a six label dot image sharp dot processing so right here so here we have just uh, you can use image sharp dot load blob dot open read stream after saving the file you can choose the upload directory that is the images so in the ww root folder 
so just create a new directory name that is images and after create the image file just check the file name uh, gyd not gyd dot to string and dash and the file name and that is the file name with the extension file name is uh, the name of the file you can say that file name is file name dot png right here okay so what is the png uh, just wait for some time so i will clear you why png we, we will select right here and image sharp is used to convert the image into the 300 into 300 images image dot save why we use 300 into 300 because wait for some times so i will clear the 300 resolutions and after that image dot save in the path and what is the path right here now you can use if you want to uh, save the images into the database table so you can choose this path to save the uh, data uh, save this path into the database table also okay so very well done now after that uh, just open your uh, index.cshtml file right here so just go to views here we have now just close this section and so you can just uh, say that uh, that is uh, div class is equals to card div class card header that is the crop image file uh, card body cropper one that division is must to use for creating a cropping area okay so cropper one is a right here to use it and the file where uh, your uh, uh, you can say that file browse and the id is browse file classes form control value choose image and accept is image only and star that and button is button upload style image like that that is the just i want to save that image into the crop form okay <coughs> now you can use right here section script so make it section scripts and paste that script right here and paste that script file right here okay now save this file and just run it i will show you the uh, script uh, image and i will uh, tell you uh, step by steps how the image will be cropped and saved into the uh, folder name images okay so wait for some times i will show you first of all oops multiple constructor accepting okay 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 it's and that is the home controller it's a multiple controller section so right here just close it now save this and run it again Okay, so here we have a cropped image area and only the preview will be given in the dark area and your cropped area image looking like that by using the croppy. So first of all choose file and you will see that uh, just anyone pick just anyone you just want to pick a file from here like that just I want to pick right here and you will see that just I want to cut only that part uh, with all buttons right here. okay now that that area will be 300 and 300 so just define the cropped area first of all 300 into 300 that is the square so um, in the first line of code you can say index.cshtml that is the cropper one no now you, that is the cropper one division and uh, that is the croppy uh, you can use the method in which you can define the viewport that is the 300 to 300 so uh, here we have a 300 to 300 only the uh, white area you can say that the cropped area is 300 to 300 and the dark uh, gray area is to you can say it's a 800 to 500 so this is the 800 to 500 keyboard 
so here we have a boundary uh, is the 800 to 300 and the viewport is the 300 to 300 show zoomer that is the true so you can say that that is the uh, zoomer button so right here you can just write here that is the zoom action okay and uh, the next one is the url that is the default url you can add it default images and preview.jpg and format that is the saved file will be uh, into the png format okay now the next line that is the basic you can say and the next line is the reading file so just first of all uh, spend uh, collapse so browse file when we pick any file from uh, by using this line of code so just oven.png just choose this file so you can say that select change file and read file just uh, with their current object reference in the read file there is that this and right now that is the input is the you can say that file so input dot files and input dot files of zero like that it is a true so reader is the file reader now reader dot onload that is the function generated that is the with the argument e so cropper one dot copy with the bind method so url is the e dot target dot result and the result is that is the cropped area okay so and now after that reader dot as a, uh, read as a data url input dot files of zero okay very well now the next thing is when we click on the upload button that is the button upload okay so button upload dot click so after cropped the area when we click on that button like that uh, button is clicked the masses will be given photo cropped successfully and with the uh, go okay so you can say that uh, when we click on the button control the basic I mean to say that there is the basic variable basic dot copy of the result in the form of the blob so what is the result result is looking like that there is a uh, result uh, you can say that uh, a, it's a, a file okay so uh, result in the form of blob then function blob okay in the form data form data point file name and the file name is blob okay file name dot uh, png and the blob dot png you can say and the uh, calling url by using the ajax you can say that my useful url in the copy url dot action saved cropped image that is inside the home controller saved cropped image okay uh, with the request equals to new xml http request request dot open post my app url settings dot my useful url that is the open url there is and request dot send form data with the form data you can say that uh, just just i want to send that form data or the file name you can say that file name dot png and the file name okay uh, that is the defined in the copy already defined in the copy that is the name that is the file name or you can say that blob dot png so just send that data by using request dot send from data request dot on read state change that is the function uh, ready state xml http request dot done this dot status is 200 if it is uh, um, masses is respond back to the uh, server that is looking like that if it is uh, gestion dot masses is okay then 200 masses is saved so response dot masses is okay then photos cropped successfully window dot location reload after saving the file just when we click on ok button that will be reload again okay and the next one is if it is error then window dot location dot reload again so the cropped image size is 300 to 300 right here we can use it so uh, the file is the 300 to 300 file that is the cropped area and image sharp is also used 300 to 300 so the saved image is looking like that in the form of 300 to 300 so you can see only the buttons right here right here so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to afp.net core